Honestly, the water I'm drinking tastes like bananas. Um, okay, so... Do you ever get so wrapped up in something and then you get to a point and you look back and think, what the hell have I been doing? And you can barely remember why you even started in the first place? Yeah, so that happened to me. The last thing I remember was I was making FPS tutorials. The next thing I know, I'd almost finished a full FPS controller, which I'm going to be making available to you guys I'm really excited about the idea of developing a project, but also making some of the source code available to the community. You see, normally when I'm making tutorials, I've already ran through what I'm showing at least two or three times. And when I'm in new territory, like I am with the FPS controller, I normally do a little research, I work a little bit further ahead, uh, try to find out what all the agreed practices are, but at some point, when I was working on the math for reloading weapons, something happened. Um, I got way too into what I was working on. I spent every piece of my spare time over the last two weeks adding tons of functionality to my game and uncovering many strange ones. Which led me to a conversation with my brother about spray patterns and what makes uh, something like a spray pattern in CSGO so good. Uh, and then, I went back and I implemented a version of that and I thought to myself, can I actually make a game? I'm basically here with the framework and it's only been two weeks. Imagine what this might look like in a month or two. I started seeing potential and I thought I could make something like a multiplayer shooter. Um, other people have. I know it's possible. It is possible, right? Okay, so we might have to do some research. Uh, I know it can make an FPS. That much is obvious, um, I've already done it. But can I make an FPS multiplayer game in the Godot game engine? I uh, did some research and I came back with the following answer. It's entirely possible. So I'm making a game. Do I know what I'm making yet apart from an FPS? No, not really. Do I know exactly what the mechanics will be? Not at all. Okay, Isaac, you don't know much about what you're doing. So what is the plan exactly? Well, let's make one. I'm going to approach this project the same way I did with my first game, Reindeer Rescue, available on Itch and the Google Play Store. It starts with a clear objective. On Reindeer Rescue, it was make a Christmas themed, simple precision platformer in two months. So what's the objective here? Try and make a multiplayer FPS shooter in the Godot game engine with at least one game mode playable by 6 to 10 people at the same time. So that's the overview of what we're going to try and make. I say try because I'm 100% sure I can make an FPS shooter. This multiplayer side of things is completely foreign to me. I'll say this so that it's on the record. I have no idea what I'm doing in that area, but like all things I've done so far, I'm going to figure it out, and I know it's going to be a great learning challenge. So, now we have an overview or summary. What about the finer details? What about the gameplay? Well, I'm going to try and keep things basic and make a try and true FPS game mode like Capture the Flag or Deathmatch, but try and put an original spin on it. It's not locked in yet, so I'm open to other ideas. I've always liked team-based games with an objective, so perhaps a more broad statement for gameplay would be to develop a team-based game mode with a clear objective where players can use a number of different strategies to win. And what about the world? Will it be realistic or will it be stylistic? Well, I actually haven't even thought about it until this point. I know I'm using weapons like an AK-47 in my current FPS controller, but I'm not locking myself into a particular theme or look yet. I have one rule. Keep it simple. I don't want to waste time making custom assets, so I will be utilizing vast libraries of CC0 assets online and customizing them if I have to. The visual theme will change, but it's not central to the goal of this project, so I won't worry about it too much for now. Then lastly, what's the timeline? Well, at the moment, there isn't one but I don't want to work on this for a long time. I'm hoping to get a minimum viable product done sometime in the next two to three months, and then I'll just be fine tuning and working on the visuals and polishing from there. I'm not trying to make a commercial game or compete with eSport titles. I'm just learning. I'm having fun and challenging myself. 
And if I happen to find success, well, even better. So, that's where I'm at right now. This video is sort of a mini audio game design document, and I'll be checking in on the regular to show you what I'm working on and where I'm at with things. If you want to come along for the ride, hit that like button and subscribe. I've been having a lot of fun so far, and I'm excited to see how far I can take this. I'll see you sometime soon. Thanks for watching. Oh, I should probably say, um, you can get the FPS controller that I'm working on completely free. It's on my itch, and you can just download it. I'm going to be updating it semi-regularly. My idea is essentially as I'm working on this game, I'm going to be making some components of it available for download so people can dissect it, see what's going on, and use it in their own projects. Um, at some point, I guess I'll have to close it off when it gets too specific to my particular project, but right now it's actually quite generic and I think it could be useful to some people, so it's there if you want it. Uh, I may even make some tutorials about the things that I've been making. Um, I'm working, I'm getting pretty deep in the weeds, so I don't know how I could break it down. But, you know, anything that I uh, talk about in the next couple of devlogs, if you find it interesting, just drop a comment in, let me know, and I'll try to make time for it. I know a lot of people have been requesting um, sort of more specialized tutorials on certain things like AI from that video way back at the start of the year. Um, to be honest, I don't know if I'm going to get to that. I would like to. I may need to just to be able to learn how to make, you know, bots or whatever, like, I don't know. I may have to revisit that anyway, but at the moment I'm just going to be working on this. So that's all from me, thank you so much for watching, I'm Isaac and I am Shaftev and I'll see you next time.